just get two of you out here, it's gonna be the wedge. Guys, we already got tethered here, so I might as well utilize that. What I like to use when a pulley doesn't have this feature is what's called a Bachman knot. I need my anchor and my system, and I'm gonna undo it first to show you how it works, and then we'll show you how to do it back up again. A lot of body in the water and a lot of movement. I'm not saying don't go beyond that, I'm just saying you're making a conscious decision at that point. Okay. Oh. I mean, you would. You didn't know you were strong as I was, did you? You make it look good. Man, I better get back to the weight room. You better, you better put one of these darn pulleys on. I'll be nice. I'll catch you afraid of the tree. Yeah. Friction is really important in this set. And once I had this demonstrated to me by a woman representative for one of the climbing gear companies, I said, I gotta have pulleys in my kit. <laughs> All right, let's show them how we put the process on. And this is a prussic knot, it's just a loop. And you can see that when you put pressure on it, it holds. And then when you take the pressure off, you can move it. Come on, I'll show you. Really, if you could hold that tight for me, the prussic always goes on the hall. And Think about it this way. If you do this, that's a birth hitch. People, have done, people do that all the time without even knowing what it's called. So what we're doing here is you're going either five times easier to push. The double birth hitch. Now you four go a meter. You have to push five times. Now get steep. Just now just take that in through. Perfect. Like this probably is a breaking strength of around 1,500 pounds, but the pressing will slip. And how would you stop it from slipping? Anybody? Take another wrap. Take another wrap. And what's another one? It's counterintuitive. Pour water on it. Put in water on it will uh, we'll, we'll increase the... Uh, Will improve, will increase the, uh, for the friction of the system. So, now this comes back here, and where does, where does this go? Okay, because you see this is the brake, and what this does is, like if you pull it tight, pull it tight, pull the system tight, now I'll just put it here, and I'll let go. You see the brake holds the system. And, it, and so that a lot of times you'll pull and you'll want to take a break or, or, or you need to, uh, you, you just don't want to lose what you've got. And especially if it's just one or two of them. That, Can I say something for a absolutely. second? Absolutely. It's also important when, let's say, if you have to, you know, you have to have a long, if you have, um, if you pull, your overall pull distance is very long. And at some point when you start pulling, your whole pull system ends up here. So now you have to reset it, right? And how do you reset it if you have no brake? But if you have a brake on here, I can just go back here. And um, if you can let go there a little bit, I can just let go here, loosen this guy off and walk back. Reset my thing, stretch the rope all the way. Then we can pull in. And so you can do all these hauls, like multiple hauls over the whole length without ever having to do anything fancy, right? Very easily. Right, and that's particularly useful because this is not just used for unpinning boats. It's used for hauling people and gear up steep slopes. Mm -hmm. Like let's say you had somebody in a stretcher 
somebody's broken their back, you're trying to get them out, you can't get help in there, so you take all your flotation and everything out of the canoe, you put them in the canoe, you get everything padded up just right, and you're hauling this canoe up the slope, or you're hauling a stretcher. Either way, you'll hook something like this up so that you can pull, and when you need to take a break, you just take a break. So yeah. Now, now as you as you look at this thing, we're starting to get close. Take it a little further. A little more. A little more. Now you don't want to let it get so that it's all the way down, because if you pull these things so that the wheels pass each other, all of a sudden your three to one becomes a one to one, <laughs> and the system can start just sort of going crazy. You, you get it to that point, and if there's a lot of pressure, all of a sudden you hear. And that sound is all the rope paying out. So right here is like where you say, okay, I've got to reposition the pulley. So you let the pressure off. Now, who wants to reposition the pulley? Okay, go for it. <coughs> okay, now we'll pull some more. You see there it goes down in. Well, coffee break time, let it off. See how it, you see Sorry, how it catches we'll be back it. Back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> any 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 questions about about, the, about this system here?